I'm Master Dan Segarra for Warrior Skill and Martial Arts, and in this lesson, we're going to go over uh, a unique training tool or technique uh, using a plus sign or cross. Now, the really cool thing about this is if you have mats like I have, square mats, you've got, I, right here in this room alone, I have 60 crosses. Okay? Now, you're not going to have 60 people on that, but you, know, you can get quite a few people using the intersection of the mat that makes the cross. So you don't need to put all this tape down. Uh, obviously for the video, I'm, I'm, I'm using it as an illustration, but um, this is a really great uh, exercise to use the intersections of your mat. If you don't have the mat, you can always put down some painter's tape like I did here. Uh, for children, sometimes you wanna put some painter's tape down so they have a, a little stronger visualization and then just have them step over to the intersection of the mat and practice that. And if they get confused, they go back over here till they get it. So that's the technique that I use. Um, I don't like having a billion crosses on my floor. One of the kids came in today and said, why are there crosses on the floor? I said, to keep the vampires out. And they looked at me and I said, you see any vampires in the room? And they said, no, sir. I said, see, it works. And the other one was, uh, I told them, I put treasure under these. The treasure is knowledge. So uh, these uh, exercises are good for footwork. So uh, now, uh, actually, let's do this one first. So this, uh, you want to put your front foot in the uh, corner, back corner. So if it's the left foot, you want to have it in the uh, bottom a right side corner, and if it's the right foot, you want to have it in the uh, bottom left side corner, up in, up in the corner there, okay? So starting off like this, we go forward, so you want to make you know, a nice stable stance, and we're going to go forward, pushing off the back leg, and, whatever, and the rule is whatever foot is close to the line is the one that moves. So I go forward, and now my back foot is close to the line, backward. Front foot's closer, forward. Backwards, so we eliminate the need for left and right, you know, at least to get started. Now to go side to side, whatever foot is closer. So this would be my left foot, my front foot, one, two. Now my back foot is, if I extend this line, it go closer, so that foot moves. So now we have side to side, okay, and we have forward and backward. Okay, now we can go forward and then sideways and then practice this, and then we can go backward like that. So we have different patterns we can do. Now, I didn't get into that diagonal yet. I will in a moment. So pattern number one is forward, backward, okay, and then side to side, okay? Pattern number two is diagonal, or we count this as pattern one, all as pattern one. So pattern one is forward, backward. Remember we talked about last week, telephone, microphone, side to side, and then we go diagonal, diagonal, okay? Pattern number two is what we call a box. We go forward, we go sideways, we go backward, we go sideways, okay? Reverse box, we just do it the other way. So this is the way we do it this way, okay? So a very simple uh, footwork drill. Now, uh, when you put the two patterns together and you have the students do it over and over and over again, it gets interesting. Now, to switch feet, you can have them just switch feet by going this way, and then they just reverse the pattern. Or, if you wanna make it interesting, if we do a diagonal step, okay, then a side step, when I do a diagonal now, this is the foot that's closer to the line. So it goes back, and now my feet are switched. Now I can continue the pattern on reverse feet. So once again, if I do a diagonal, then a side, then I do another diagonal, that means this foot, which is closer to the line, that's the rule, goes back, and the other foot goes like that. So now my feet are switched. So that's how we do the basic footwork exercise. Now you can do some fun exercise with partners this way too. So, uh, you know, again, just basic stuff here. But, it, you know, it, this can be a little more fun than just doing it in the air. You have some visual, you know, my students came in and say, whoo, something cool is happening today. There's crosses on the mat. <laughs> All right, so uh, stay here with me, good. So we're gonna go side to side. She's gonna give me a jab when we go. All right, one, two, three, Four. Now we switch. She opens up. She goes this way. One, two, three, four. So we can do you know simple patterns like that. Forward and backward, diagonals even. Uh, we can you know do a, a box. And then of course we can do from here. She steps. Now we're getting more advanced here. But she steps to my box, and then we turn towards each other. Right. Now she's going to use her front foot 
to step towards my box, I'm going to, because again, here's the line, she comes towards my box, and I rotate and she rotates. She comes to my box, I rotate, she rotates, okay? So we can do this also as a little, you know, movement exercise as well with that, okay? So uh, don't underestimate it. It's really, really, really good exercise. And uh, the elbow exercise that we talked about uh, last week is same thing. You start off in the same bottom corner and then elbow stepping forward into that box. This foot now goes into the other box, the empty box. This one goes into that box. This one goes into that box. And then normally we would finish here, right? But just to land where we started from, we bring in the other foot. So now you have uh, you know, a simple thing here, because sometimes children get confused with what foot, you know, with their short-term hamster memory. They go here, and then, oh, which was the last foot I stepped with? And they start doing weird stuff. So it's very simple. You could even take a tape and put a one, a two, a three, and four in here, so they know one, and two, and three, and four, like that. You know, it's also a good exercise. You think of a person standing right in the center of the cross. You know, we can practice moving around the person. Okay. So, Ash, can you come over here and demonstrate that real quick? Just stand in the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, face me. Right? So, she's in the center. So, I can think one and two and three and four. Okay? So, uh, that's a good exercise for practicing walking around the body and so forth. Uh, what happens if, you know, you kick and somebody turns you and now they're there. So, different positions. So, with that, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next lesson.